G'day guys and gal. We only answer the serious questions on this channel. Can space marines get hard? Who can clap the emperor's cheeks? Can Doomslayer beat a space marine? And then anything to do with Cetra. And now comes the most serious topic of all. Is Gulliman ramming his large Aryan battle barge into Uvrain's forbidden webway portal? Games Workshop has teased it, hentai artists have drawn it, and now it's time to prove or dispel it. Before we get started, I'm happy to announce we've secured all 12 hentai artists to create some kind of messed up talented Power Rangers squad. The official Major Kill Warhammer hentai calendar is now under construction, thanks to the nearly 1,000 of you patrons. As a thank you to you guys, whoever is a patron, no matter how small the donation, will get a discount when the calendar drops in a few weeks. So if you want to get that deal, then join the team. Today we'll go over how Gulliman and Yuvrain met, and why they are sexually attracted to each other, despite one being programmed to not know what a vagina is, and the other one has probably lost all feeling in her vagina, because she was a Dark Elder. We'll also go over if it's physically possible for a 10 foot tall demigod to fit his proportionally huge schlong inside of Miss Emo McDeath. Let's get into it. Both Yuvrain and Gulliman can have what is described as a shit life. Gulliman builds an empire founded on nobility and justice, just for a bunch of pedophiles and angry men to come skullfuck it. He then loses more than half of his brothers to either death or chaos, and his father becomes a vegetable. He is left as the only sane Primarch who can hold the Imperium together, only to get penetrated through the throat by his flamboyantly gay brother Fulgrim. G-Man then spends the next 10,000 years frozen in what I can only describe as a very uncomfortable looking position, like surely lie the poor guy down. Yvrain was an elder on the Crawford Bale 10, which if you know is full of hard asses. She eventually flees into the webway after she finds it a bit boring and gets into a bit of strife, and eventually ends up in the gladiatorial pits in Komara. To make matters worse, her opponent in the arena was the greatest Dark Elder or Gladiator, and despite her best efforts, Yvrain got her shit kicked in. As she was dying, Yened was like, Swiggity swoggity swooty, I'm resurrecting your Dark Elder booty. Hence she came back to life as a bit of a prophet of the Elder God of Death, hence putting the long-term survival of the entire Elder race on her shoulders. She came to the conclusion that for the Elder to survive, they needed to focus their war effort on Tyranids, Chaos and Orcs, and not on humanity, hence making Yuvrain one of the six people in the galaxy with a degree of common sense. Well, at least this is what she told her followers. In truth, I believe that she heard of the power of Primarch Cock, and wanted to see if there was any out there still that could make her feel like a woman again. Hence she journeyed to Cadia to save various heroes of the Imperium that, when combining their might together, could bring Gulliman back, her prize. And bring him back they did, and boy oh boy you better believe G-Man had a raging heart on from 10,000 years worth of pent up morning wood. After bitch slapping Chaos away from Ultramar, Gulliman had a lot of pent up tension. This wasn't helped by the fact that his new armor of fate was basically one big chastity belt, as if he removed it he would die. Now as we know, Gulliman eventually trains himself to be able to remove it and live without it, and some people might be like, wow, his willpower is very good, but that wasn't it. The thirst for big titty elder girlfriends surpasses life and death. So when the biggie created his Primarchs, he bestowed a part of him himself onto each of them. On Gulliman, he placed his logistical and tactical brilliance, but also something else his insatiable thirst for Eldar booty. The Big E wasn't building the webway project so he could protect mankind, no, he built it so he'd have a much easier time accessing Eldar prostitutes. So now we know Yvrain and Gulliman both wanted it. She brought him back from the dead and he removed his unremovable chastity belt. Before they could actually do it, was it physically possible for this to occur without killing Yvrain? To find this out, we must calculate the size of Gulliman's cock. To do this, we'll scale it up from an average Scandinavian man. The average dick size in Scandinavia is about 14 to 15 centimeters long when erect. However, as this is a prime mark, obviously the size would be on the upper end. Hence, I would say it would be around 17 centimeters. Now, Games Workshop has never really stated the exact size of Gulliman or any of the prime marks. However, we can safely say he's between 9 and 11 feet. Let's say 10 feet to make it easy. The average Scandinavian man is 5 foot 11, so we're just under doubling his height, and a result of that, his cock length and girth. The girth being around 14 centimeters when erect. And through basic mass, we can assume Gulliman's cock is 31 centimeters long and 26 centimeters in girth. 
Now that's pretty solid and could do some serious damage, however it still falls around 20 meters short of a flaccid horse dick, and 3 centimeters short of the largest ever recorded human penis, meaning it's not even that unrealistic. The Eldar are generally quite tall as well, clocking in around 7 feet, with no real difference between men and women Eldar. Hence in terms of physical compatibility it's actually not too far off. Remember, Primarchs do not have out of proportion retarded bodies like the crudely made Astartes do. They grew up with these bodies, hence while Gulliman is a big muscly boy, he's not some roided up demon with insanely oversized lats. Combine with this with the fact that Uranus is a dark elder, and yes, yeah, she could handle that mighty Primarch cock. And let's say G-Man gets carried away and Uranus dies, she can just bring herself back to life using her mastery of death. So yeah, the sex would be pretty damn kinky as well. And so, we've got two people who are craving each other, they can physically handle each other, so the final question remains, are Gulliman and Yvrain fucking? The answer is obviously fucking not, you filthy degenerate. What is wrong with you? Why did you click on this video? Disgusting simp. I'm calling the fucking Inquisition on your twisted ass, you absolute creature of Slanesh. You know what? To show how obvious it is that they never fucked, I'm going to get hentai commissioned of them fucking and put it in my hentai calendar just to mock you. Pathetic.